Okay. So this question is also simple. It's also very simple. The question says, evaluate the determinants of the following matrices. So how do you find the determinants of matrices? Yeah, so the determinant, I'm going to first uh, start by showing you how to find the determinant of a two by two matrix, then I'll move on to a three by three. So the way I'm going to find the determinant of a three by three matrix, that's the way you find the determinant of a three by, uh, I mean, a four by four, five by five, any matrix. Yeah, so there are basically a number of ways in which you can find the determinants, and I'm going to show you the simplest. So we have the first one there, but before I write the first one, let me show you, um, yeah, let me show you, um, let me just get uh, a matrix. Let's say we have matrix A, which is A, B, C, D. And then let's say you've been asked to find the determinant of A. Yeah, so sometimes it's denoted as that A. So now, if you if this is what uh, I mean, if this is uh, the question you've been asked to find the determinant of A, uh, having been given a two by two matrix, what you just need to do is to multiply this A and D. You multiply the diagonals there, so you say A times D. The answer. So let me say the determinant of A is equal to so A times D there will give us what A D. Then you say minus C times D, which is, uh, sorry, C times B. When you multiply B and C, you're going to get B, C. So this is what you're going to get as the solution. So this is how you, you find the determinant of a two by two matrix. So let us see how we can solve the first one. So we have the first one, which is A is equal to negative nine, negative 18. You have two, you have four then they ask you to find the determinant of A. So the determinant of A will be, so we have negative nine and four when you multiply, uh, this will give us negative 36. Then remember we said we have to subtract um, the, the, what is the product of, um, uh, the product of this diagonal, yeah, so, So we say two times negative 18. Two times negative 18 will give us, uh, two times negative 18 will give us um, negative 36. Okay. So when you add this, you're going to have negative 36 there. And then negative times negative 36, the answer will be, uh, positive 36. So when you, the, when you add these two, you're going to get a zero. So now, one thing you have to understand is that whenever you get a zero after finding the determinant of any matrix, it means that uh, it means that that matrix is known as the uh, a singular matrix. Yeah. So any matrix that has a determinant equal to zero is known as the singular matrix. All right, so let's uh, quickly move on to the next one. So this is how you find the determinant of a two by two matrix. Or well, let me give you another example of a two by two matrix. So we have, let's say we have matrix B, which is equal to two, three, eight, five. So the determinant of B is therefore going to be five times two. This is going to give you 10. And then you say minus yes, uh, minus uh, eight times three, which is uh, 24. So when you multiply this and this, you're getting 10. When you multiply this and this, you get 24. So when you add them, you're going to get um, negative 14 as the answer. So this is the determinant of this matrix. Yeah. So. Uh, let's uh, move on to the next one. Let's see how we can find the determinant of a three by three matrix. So I'll get the first um, matrix there. I have A is equal to 
there is two, zero, negative one. We have one, one, three. Then we have negative one, negative two, one there. Then they ask you to find, um, they're asking us to find the determinant of, uh, the determinant of this matrix there. So how do we do that? So I'm going to first uh, write this too. So let me say the determinant of A. So I'm going to multiply the number that I have there. The number that I have there, the first number there with its um, minor matrix. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to write two there and then I'm multiplying it with uh, the determinant of um, the matrix here. So we have this small matrix there. So I'm going to multiply this number times the matrix of that. So I'm going to do this. So I have one, there's three, negative two there, there's one there. Okay. And then I'll move to the next number. So when you are using this method, it's always advisable to get the row or a column that has uh, a lot of, or uh, a, a highest number of zeros. So in this case, I've seen that in this row, I have at least one zero. If I wanted, I can use this row, but you can also use this, I mean, this column. You can also use this column or this column to do what I'm doing. Yeah, but what is just important is that you have to follow you have to follow uh, these, um, this matrix of signs. So the first one is a positive, they are followed by a negative, another positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. So you multiply each number in this. If I say, for instance, I take this column, it means that I'm going to multiply all the numbers in that column with, this, with these signs. So now in this case of, I have taken this row. So I've taken this row, it's the one that I'm going to be multiplying to the minor matrices. So this means that I'm going to multiply all the numbers in that row with uh, these uh, signs there. So let us see now how to deal with this. How can we do this? So the next number that we have there is a zero. So there is a negative there. So I'm going to put a minus there then there is a zero. Then this zero is going to be multiplied by its minor matrix. What does that mean? It means that I have to delete the column and the row where the, um, the, is the, the zero is. And then the remaining numbers are the ones that I'm going to put in the minor matrix. So we have one there, then we have negative one, we have three there, then we have one there. Then I'll do the same to the next number or the next um, term. So in, on the next term, I have a positive there. So positive times negative one there, I'll still get a negative one. So I'm going to multiply this with its minor matrix. How do I find that? I have to delete the column where the, the negative one is and the row where the negative one is. Then the remaining matrix there is the minor matrix that I'm going to put there. So I have one, one, negative one, negative two. And then, um, yeah, and then we have, we can now find these determinants. Yeah, the determinants of these minor matrices. So in case maybe you missed out on uh, the first part, how I found this matrix, let me show you. I also did the same. I, deleted the column where these two is, and also the row where the two is. Then the remaining matrix there is the one that I wrote there. And because the sign this side is, the, the sign here is positive, I multiplied the positive and the positive two there, I still got the positive as the answer. This is why the two is still positive there. Okay. So let us now find the solution.
So how do you find the solution? Sorry for that. Let us now find the determinants. So the determinant of a small of a two by two matrix is simple. How do you do that? It's simple. So we say this one times this one there times this one, the answer is one. Then one minus negative two times three there, I'm getting negative six. So I'm going to put that. I'll change the types of brackets there. Then zero times everything that we're going to find there, it will still give us a zero. So we can leave this part. And then we move on to this one. So we have negative one there, then open brackets. Then one times negative two, the answer is negative two. Then we say minus, we have negative one and one. When you multiply them, you're getting what? Uh, negative one. So we change the brackets because we have uh, another set of brackets inside there. So we have two outside, then open brackets. One negative and negative will give you what? A positive. So one plus six, the answer will be seven. Then you say minus one open brackets. I have um, this one will be positive because negative and negative uh, gives you what a positive when you multiply them. Yeah, so this will be negative two plus one. The answer will be what negative one. So we're going to have fourteen. This will be fourteen, and then plus when you multiply these two, there you're getting um, you're good. You're getting positive one. So the determinant of this matrix is there for what? Is there for 15? Okay, so this is how we find the determinant of a matrix, of a three by three matrix. So let us see how we can find the determinant of this other matrix there, the last question. So it's also simple. So the matrix B is given to B. We have two, three, one. Then we have negative one, negative six, seven. Then we have four, we have five. Then we have negative one. Let me just write it properly. Okay, so to find the determinant of this, so I'll say the determinant of B is therefore going to be equal to, so the, in this matrix, we don't have any zero. So there's nothing like choosing a, 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 a row or a column which has a lot of zeros. So one thing I just have to put in mind is that I have to compare the matrix there with the signs that I have in this matrix of science. Okay, so if I take the first um, row there, I'm going to get two, these two times positive there, the answer will still be positive two. Then the matrix there means that I'm going to cancel the column which has two and the row which has two. Then the remaining part there is the matrix that I'm going to write there. Then we do the same on the next one. So the next one there we have, so on the next one there we have three. 
But of course, this three has to be multiplied with this negative there. So three times negative or getting negative three, then we put the matrix. So when you cancel this and that, the matrix says the numbers that are going to remain with are negative one, four, seven, and negative one. So we have negative one, four, seven, negative one. Yeah, so we do the same to the last number there. So the last number there, what we have is one. So what one times positive there, this will be positive one. And then we open the set of, I mean, we open the matrix there. So we cancel this and that. The remaining part there we have is negative one, four, six, negative six, five. So here's just a matter of simplifying by finding the, the determinants of these minor matrices. So we have two open brackets. So negative six and negative one gives us positive six. So we have six there uh, minus five times seven. This will give us 35. Close the brackets. Then we have minus three open brackets. The negative, negative, negative one and negative one will give us what? Positive one. Then from there, we say minus four times seven there. The answer there that we get is um, four times seven, that would be 28. Then we have plus one there, open brackets. Then we have negative one and five will give us negative five. Then we have um, minus four times negative six there. This will give us what? Negative 24. So here we simplify. So we have two open brackets, six minus 35, negative 29. Then we have negative three there, one minus 28, negative 27. Then we have uh, plus one open brackets. Um, this will give us a positive. Um, so negative five plus 24, this will give us what, 19. So we simplify further. So, Two times twenty nine. So two times twenty nine, you get fifty eight. So we get negative fifty eight because there's a negative there. Then negative three and negative twenty uh, seven will give us a positive, and that will give us uh, eighty one. So this would be positive eighty one. Then uh, one times nineteen there will give us nineteen. So when you add uh, negative 50, uh, 58 and 81 will get something like a 23, then to that 23 add 19, the answer will be 42. So this is the determinant of this matrix there. So in these remaining three minutes, if you have a question, you can ask.